What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So I've got a new Ivara build for you today. I'm calling this one, Don't Be Afraid of the Big Red Button. Uh, not exactly the best at naming builds, but I thought that made sense for this setup. We're going to be using a combination of Noise Arrow from Ivara, Terrify from Necros, and uh, the new Agrit Exploding Pistol, which was introduced in Veilbreaker for big red crit explosions. Uh... And they don't even need to be that big because we're actually making the enemies come towards us uh, where we decide to direct them. Before we go over all this stuff today, it's going to be a pretty in-depth build video today. Uh, make sure that you are sub to this channel. We do daily Warframe video uploads, and I really appreciate it. If you guys are enjoying the content, if you hit that sub button so we can keep growing the channel. Also, we've got a live stream channel if you want to check that out as well. We'll be live streaming uh, later this week. All right, so the idea of this build setup is going to be basically making it where my dreams come true. I've wanted proximity mines in this game for a long time. And DE refuses to give them to me, so I'm making my own proximity mines uh, indirectly. So, the idea of this is we're going to get on the dash wire with the Empowered Quiver Augment mod, and we're going to use Ivara's Noise Arrow to make enemies group up near the Noise Arrow we, de we deploy. Once they're near that, we're going to put some bombs on the ground, the new Agrit Exploding Pistol. We're going to cast Necros Terrify to remove all enemy armor. Now, keep in mind, I actually have low power strength right now. We have a Molt Augmented set up here. Once we get fully stacked up, they will be fully armor stripped in one cast. Then we detonate it when they're near the bomb, and, you know, rinse and repeat. Get near the bomb, blow up the bomb, and that's, it's going to be a survival-focused playstyle. But there's some problems with Ivara in uh, survival against the Steel Path Acolyte specifically that we're going to go over in a little bit here. And we're also going to show all the builds and stuff, too. So as far as this setup, uh, the, the biggest thing here is going to be the Ivara build. Uh... And, you know, you can run things besides Vigorous Swap and Holster Amp, but I've decided to try those out a little bit more because they've been doing some good damage recently. Uh, but the idea of this is that you actually want to have as much range as possible. The reason you want such big range is because we're actually focusing on the noise area, uh, the noise arrow radius a lot here. Uh, and you might be like, noise arrow? Like, what? I'm going to go ahead and just let you know right now, guys. This is not exactly a meta build. It's more of a for fun build of things I've been messing with I wanted to share with you guys. Um, the idea of this is basically... You can use this to farm Steel Essence, but once we go over what the problem is with the Acolyte, maybe I won't, I, I wouldn't really recommend that to you, because there's some weird stuff with Ivara and Acolytes. Uh, but yeah, basically, you hide on the dash wire above where enemies would normally be shooting at you, you're permanently invisible because you're Ivara, uh, and then yeah, just put the noise arrow down, enemies will walk across the, the area over towards the noise arrow, where your bombs are waiting for them. Once they have arrived, detonate the bombs, we're actually using... Uh, one of the new Zeramon Arcanes to get red crits on, the, on these bombs, too, the uh, the Agrit. So we'll be going over that in a little bit here, too. Um, but yeah, so you basically want to be able to remove all enemy armor in one cast. Uh, that's where things like Corrosive Projection and Molt Augmented are going to be helpful for you. Um, you. You could technically do a different setup than I'm doing, but this is the one I'm going for, and it's been working out really well. So I'm going to quickly show you this build. So let's go over every mod and explain why we're using it. Because I feel like I don't do that enough in these videos. So as far as Empowered Quiver, this is going to be where a bunch of big damage for Ivara is going to come from. Once you are on your dash wire, you are doing increased critical damage. That increased critical damage scales with power strength. So for things like uh, Molt Augmented, which gives you power strength on every kill and stacks a bunch of times, or even Naderai Focus School, you will get more and more crit damage. So currently with no buffs up, we've got 104 increased crit damage. So if I was to get another 60% power strength from this, that would be adding into that, giving us more and more power. And since we're red critting, we're getting that crit damage applied multiple times. So continuity is going to be for uh, basically giving us a better equation on a drain per second on our prowl. If you don't know how uh, drain per second on abilities work in this game, it's a basically a combination of efficiency and duration mixed together when it's a drain over time, like Ivara's prowl. So that's why we've gone for it. Um, Strength will also technically increase the headshot multiplier uh, from Prowl, but we're not really going for headshots here because we're using AoE. Um, but, you know, technically it's something that you could keep in mind as well. Um, so as, as far as that continuity is for giving us better equations on our drain, don't even need it for Terrify, really. It's really, really just so we're, we're keeping this longer. Um, yeah, moving on. Stretch, like I said, the range mods are going to be all for making our explosion radius, or rather our noise radius bigger for dragging enemies from further away, and technically for increasing how big our radius is for Terrify as well, which will be giving us armor strength. You might be like, this is anti-synergy. That means we're running away. The the AI for Noise Arrow will override the running away uh, AI for Terrify. That's why it's called Don't Be Afraid of the Big Red Button, because even they even if they wanted to be afraid, they're, st they're, they're technically still afraid as far as the game's concerned, but the Noise Arrow is telling them not to be afraid. That's the idea of the build, okay? 
Um, as far as other mods, we got overextended, not fully ranked up. I don't want negative power strength. We're actually at a very particular number of power strength here, so we can get full armor strip with Molt Augmented fully stacked up. Uh, I think you need like 164% strength for, uh, for Terrify full strip, and that's going to be exactly what we're at once we're fully Molt Augmented up. So pretty interesting stuff there. Um, it also gives, this is probably just the best range mod for the slot anyway, even with minus strength. Um, but if you, if you thought we were going overkill on range, you could definitely take this off for something else. Uh, maybe some more power strength, just whatever, really. Like you could even maybe put on a uh, a vigilante mod or something if you're trying to focus on your your primary for damage. But we're using the the pocket Brahma for damage here. Vigorous swap is going to give you a damage increase. We're not using merciless. We're not using uh, Cascadia flare or anything like that. So we have no increased base damage from arcanes on our pocket Brahma. This mixed with holster amp, if we switch back and forth, we're getting a big big bump of damage. Uh, so you can use that. You don't have to use it. I actually had I had corrosive projection equipped earlier just for getting uh, full armor strip easier and quicker, and it, it totally is fine. Like, it's whatever you guys want. Um, but energy energy siphon will not work while you're in prowl, so keep that in mind. Prime Flow, Ivara has a ton of energy, and we're casting lots of abilities, so you're going to want to have that little bit of wiggle room to uh, you know cast Terrify, which costs 75 energy. Your, your cloaking is going to be draining energy per second, and you're going to be using Noise Arrow quite regularly, too. Now, you're not using the Navigator too much, but you technically can use the Navigator if you're using the Glaive Prime or something like that to blow it up mid-flight. Power strength is at a very particular number because we want full armor strip from Terrify. Uh, so Umbral Intensify with an Umber Forma is what I've got in here. You don't need to Umber Forma this at all, uh, but you do need this much power strength. And then Prime, sure footed because we're using AOE weapons like crazy, and we don't want to blow ourselves up by getting knocked over because that would just be embarrassing. Okay, so the primary is not mattering here, although you could use the Kuba Tonker if you wanted to. We're going to focus on the Pocket Brahma Aggrit right here, and we're actually going to talk about something really funny. You might notice that this build is not really maxed out. Well, here's the problem. Even with every slot polarized, there's certain builds you can't make work. Uh, especially when we have uh, cold mods as a depolarity instead of a dash polarity for 90% elementals for other elements. If you ever notice that every elemental 90% is a dash polarity besides the cold one because we're not allowed to have nice things. So I have to be stuck with either a rank 0 deep freeze, which is just only 50% cold, or a like rank 1 or 2 Frostbite, which will give us 50% cold and status chance. The status chance doesn't matter, but we really don't have many options here either way. So this is what we're going for. Um, now, since we are modding for Viral, that's going to be good because the enemy's armor is all removed and Viral is great against unarmored enemies. Uh, additionally, since this thing is so bad on mod drain, we've gone Creeping Bullseye because it's a lower mod drain than Prime Pistol Gambit. It gives you a little bit more crit chance, uh, and the minus fire rate does not matter on the aggregate because you're not spamming shots, really. Very important mod for playing Ivara, though, guys. Suppress. Reduces the chance of enemies hearing gunfire of 100%. This means you will not lose in Viz when you use the Pocket Brahma on Ivara on her dash wire. This is one of the most important things you can do. Whenever you're trying to get a mod for Ivara to make it so you can't be heard, just type the word here in here. Oop, wrong button. Uh, type the word here, and that's what you're looking for. It's not going to be like certain silence or whatever. It's the word here. I just hit the screenshot button on accident. I apologize for that. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be basically... Your setup here, you're going for big damage uh, and gr grouping up. It's actually like a weird version of grouping enemies up. It's not like an ensnare or like a larva or whatever. It's it's actually uh, <laughs> the enemies are choosing to come over to where you decide to have them go. And it's it's a pretty fun little play style. You can make a network of dash wires throughout the room and jump from dash wire to dash wire. Uh, but do remember that if you are using this dash wire, it's gonna snapshot however much power strength you had when you created the dash wire. So if you're using multi augmented to get a bunch of stacks for a bunch of power strength, make sure that you make a new dash wire once you're fully stacked up. And if you use a matter I double dash, make sure you double dash before you make that uh, Ivara dash wire as well, because you will notice the crit damage increase. It will be nice and juicy. So as you can see right there, that's the play style in effect. Enemies are basically just sitting ducks. Uh, they're terrified and they're noise arrowed. So yeah, some, some spaghetti code in this game is making this work, and I like it. It's um, Now here's the problem, though. Okay, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. There is some weird thing that Ivara is getting, like, screwed over by Acolytes. Whenever an Acolyte appears, it's I think it's specifically the Valkyr Acolyte, will make you fall off your dash wire. I don't know why it does this. And it will make you lose in Viz and teleport you next to the Valkyr. I have no idea what's causing this. You're going to definitely want a weapon to one-shot the Acolyte. When I say one-shot, like, I know, you actually need to kill the Acolyte in one bullet. Or he's going to totally wreck your day. So I don't know why they did that to Ivara to make it where she loses in Viz. I've never noticed it on Ash. I've never noticed it on, like other invisibility frames. I don't know. Like People have been telling me it's on every invisibility frame that this happens, but I've, I've never seen it. So 
the sides on Ivara. And I, I just, I don't, I feel like Ivara's getting done dirty a little bit by DE here. Um, so yeah, as far as other weapons, like I said, the Kuva Tonkor works. Make sure you put a silencer on it though. Uh, and as uh, as far as other weapons for the Acolyte, Strofa is going to be really good. Tenant Strofa if you got it. Uh, the Glaive Prime, good with Ivaris 2. You might see me controlling the projectiles with Ivaris 2 here. We are testing something out on stream, so don't pay too much attention to that. I'll be at just a for fun build, guys. Basically just for survival camping, using the Pocket Brahma, making some detonating mines on the ground, which I've always wanted and we never get. Um, so yeah, hope you guys found the video fun and helpful. Uh, I, I've used the build about two or three times, and it's been quite effective, but you're going to want to definitely have some, some life support towers in the room if you're camping with this. And you're also going to definitely want to, um, you know, you're, you're going to be wanting to have lots of forma on your build because it's a lot to fit on here. And as you see, it's a big satisfying explosion. Uh, the Pocket Brahma uh, Riven, by the way. So as far as God Roll stats, we talked about this in the past. Uh, but your, your God Roll stats will be crit damage and multi-shot. And we're using Cascadia Overcharge. While Overshields are active, you have increased critical chance by 300%. Since we're running uh, one Augur mod on our... Ivar, we're running Augur Reach. We can get over shields by casting this ability, which will mean we're getting 300% increased crit chance for the Pocket Brahma. It is not normally red crit like that, but we're making it red crit. And just to show all this stuff in effect, now keep in mind, we're not going to have our multipliers. Um, we're just going to throw these guys in here. Actually, we're going to make them We're gonna make them not paused because that's the idea of the build. Is it's meant for enemies that are actually moving around. You force them to go where you want. Um, so we're going to get on the dash wire. we got a big crit damage increase. We're going to place our bombs on the ground. Then we're going to use the red noise arrow to make enemies walk towards those bombs. Ideally, we would be actually, you know, fully armor stripping them. You're going to need to jump off the dash wire too to cast that. And remember that, um, you remember that Terrify has an enemy limit. So if you don't mod for enough strength, you're not going to hit enough enemies. Uh, but once you're fully stacked up, you'll be able to hit, like, the entire room. That's a 500k right there um, on an unarmored grenier. So... Pretty fun stuff. Um, Ivara has lots of builds just like this. You can do the same thing with uh, Eclipse. I'm actually going to link that Eclipse build in the description as well if you want to check that one out. Uh, but yeah, the Pocket Brahma are really good on her, and I've been having a lot of fun with this. So I hope you guys have some fun with this as well, and I will see you next time. Take it easy. Peace.